Outer Banks. I have notes. So writers that wrote Outer Banks, take clear note of what I'm telling you right now, okay? It wasn't that much of a, oh my God, I hate this. But to 10, I wanted to fight everyone. Let's talk about this. First of all, let me clean my glasses real quick, okay? We are going to talk. Listen, me and my, me and my sister been watched this show, okay? We been watched it. We been finished it. My life has been empty without it. And let me tell you, before, like literally after we finished it, a few weeks later, everyone's like, oh my gosh, this show is so amazing. Why did I not know about this? I'm like, what is going on? Why is the world so late? Or am I too early? I just had to say my opinions about it because I feel like it's needed and I feel like someone has to say something about this show. And what show am I talking about exactly? Outer Banks. Number one in the world or in the US. It's number one on Netflix, that's all I know. And I'm really happy, I'm really happy. I love this show so much. It is so great, love it, mean it. Love the characters, some of them I hate to the core, but the people that play them do a goddamn good job making me hate those characters to the core. I'm gonna be talking about Outer Banks today, like what I think about the characters, what I think about everything. We're about to get into this, and believe me, <clears throat> I came prepared. The writers that wrote Outer Banks, take clear note of what I'm telling you right now, okay? Because some of these, they're very important. <clears throat> Let's begin. I'm gonna start with the situations from the show that probably irritated the heck out of me. It's, it's like a range from one to 10. Like the one, not that much of a big problem to me, could have been better handled or maybe even written, but it wasn't that much of a, oh my God, I hate this. But to 10, I wanted to fight everyone. Okay, so the first situation I wrote down was Sarah and Kiara. Literally, now that I think of it, when I started watching the show and Sarah got into the plot, I did not know they knew each other. I was like, so y'all have y'all have history? Cause Kiara was like, who are you? <laughs> this is the pole gang. You are not invited. You cannot get in, you and your friends. Like I was like, Kiara, Jesus. So, my problem with the problem between those two is Kiara kept pointing out she did something really bad to me. I was like, and I feel like everyone was like this watching shows. So like, what did she do though? Was it like, oh my gosh, she killed my puppy. Oh my gosh, she murdered somebody that I loved. Oh my gosh, she gave me a drug and it made me go crazy and look so embarrassing in front of the school or something. I thought the problem was like, I don't know, like she slept with one of her boyfriends or something like that, or like, I don't know, like she made her get assaulted or something. I don't know, something really bad because that's what Kiara kept making it sound like. I just thought the situation was bigger than I thought it was. Even though her situation was bad, you know, like her not inviting her to her birthday party, yeah, like that sucks. But like, I thought she murdered someone you love or something. But at the same day, everyone handles their emotions differently. I understand that what she did was wrong. We just go in it like that. I'm just saying the way they handle it. It just, I just expected more of what happened between the two, but we're just gonna, <sighs> this isn't my show. I didn't write it, someone else did. Next, John B and the Crazy Murder Men. I literally don't even know if they had names in the show. I have a picture of them. Y'all know who it is. They're crazy, they're murderers. They clearly try to murder him and his friends. Are we just gonna dismiss how unprofessional they are? Like me and Candace were talking about this. When we were watching it, when they were on this high speed chase, John B was like, I can't, I gotta run, I gotta go. And the crazy man was like, we gonna get you, we gonna get you. I was like, oh Jesus, what's happening? Listen, I am good for a murder, um, good car chase, all that crap, but do it right the scene i'm talking about that was very unprofessional that i still remember was when i think john b was in his car it was he was like i think he was like in the middle of the street or something he was like on this busy road there's stores open there's children there's mothers there's people everywhere on the sidewalks 
But then the murder man said, oh, let's throw up and kill John B. Let's get him in the middle of this busy road where people can see us. That is stupid. Yeah, so like if I was a clever freaking hijacker, I'm just gonna hijack you in the middle of the road where everyone can see me? Child, yeah, I'm gonna harass a teenager. Ain't nobody gonna find that suspicious. Yes, someone's gonna find that suspicious. And you do, making it so obvious. I was so irritated. I was like, this is so unprofessional. I've seen better. <clears throat> Money heist. But then the part where they started shooting at the kids when they were on that boat ride. Realistically, Kiara would have got shot. I don't care what y'all say, because that girl was out and open where they could got a good aim at her. I was like, what is going on? Because at that point, we didn't even know who they were. They didn't have to shoot like that. They could have just chased them on a boat. Like, child. Okay, anyway, there's that. X <laughs> is the blind lady and the kids. The way I titled that was funny. The blind lady and the kids. So, the part when, um, what was it? The kids snuck into the house where they were going to go down to the well and get the gold. Y'all. <laughs> When I tell you, me and my sister jumped when we saw her, we jumped. I thought I was going to jump behind my couch, and my couch is up against the wall. How am I going to jump behind that? But I was going to find a way with that, the way that lady looked at the camera. That woman scared the crap out of me. Not only because her eyes, because she's blind, but she, she just said, Harry! Like she said some name or something. I was like, oh my god. Girl, don't do that. Mm -mm. She starts shooting around. I'm like... So, you know, that, that was different. I liked that. I was like, writers, this is different. This is crazy. This is adrenaline. I'm low key like, okay, is someone going to die tonight? She was shooting everywhere. Like, I never thought of that. Like a blind lady shooting around, bro. Can you imagine that? A lady, like a blind lady off the loose saying, I'm going to kill y'all. And she blind, she's shooting everywhere. That's bad news. The biggest irritator of this whole show, Sarah's dad and her family. God, don't get me started on Rave, Crave, Rave a Road. I don't know what his name is. Like, he's so annoying. And then her dad is a psycho. Her mom, I don't think that's a mom. I think that's a stepmom. Correct me if I'm wrong. That woman need Jesus. They all need Jesus. Because, my gosh, I've never seen such a dysfunctional family. Like, I just remember feeling so irritated when she wouldn't be, be able to get away from her dad. Because her dad was being crazy when John B was on the run. I was like, oh, just let her go. And like, he was, he was really smart. I'll give her dad that. He was really smart. He was really slick. I was like, oh my gosh. So I felt, I felt for Sarah. I really did. She didn't get saved out of that family. The biggest scandal of the season, Kiara and Poe. Kiara and Poe. It don't even sound right together. Kiara and Poe? Kiara and Poe. Now, listen, the way that the storyline was going, like with JJ dealing with his dad, he was like, oh, forget the world. I'm so sad. I'm just gonna spend this money on everything. And then Kiara's like, baby, don't do that. Oh, the part that really had me in, oh, they about to be something, was when JJ was in the pool that he bought. He was like, Having about, about to have a nervous breakdown. He started crying. He's like, oh my gosh, I hate everybody. I hate everything. Oh my God, help me. And then Kiara's like, oh my gosh, no, like, don't cry. I, he, he, he. Y'all cute or whatever. Are y'all gonna be something though? Like, Kiara, I know you said you want John B, but currently he taken by Sarah. You could have JJ, but no, she said, nah, I want Poe. I said, I'm just a tad bit salty. Cause how? I don't see them together. I just can't do it. I can't. JJ and Kiara felt like the next thing to try out with the relationships. Maybe season two, maybe season two, I got hope. So any y'all that's team JJ, Kiara, like let's go. If you team Kiara and Pope, please please explain me how you can see them together because I can't. I literally, I, I can't, mm, I don't know, we'll try. Next, Pope and the bad boys. And by the bad boys, AKA Rave and Trooper Troop dude. Trooper, I don't know his name. Trooper, Troop, I hate that name. I hate both of their names, Raven, Trooper. Trooper. Like I hate both of them. The scene where Rave and Trooper dude were squaring up with Pope and Rave beat the crap out of Pope. I was like, Pope, what the frick, Pope? Pope is like a baby to me. Okay, he's like my baby brother. 
was like, Pope, you letting these boys just get a run for your money, boy? Like, you taking these hits like a champ, but jeez, boy, throw a punch back. Like, if JJ wasn't his friend, like, Pope would just been like, oh my god, I'm gonna go cry at my daddy. I can't fight for crap, which he really could. And he confessed his feelings to Kiara. That, one word, hilarious. That the way Kiara reacted was savage. That was savagery and she know it. She know it, cause that was so rude. Cause here go Pope being like, oh my gosh, Kiara, I'm so in love with you, girl. Like, I want you to know that. Kiara said that, <laughs> those feelings dead, bro. You can let that go. That chance is never gonna happen. Pope like, well, I guess it's sad boy hours for me. I was like, Kiara, you did not have to let him down like that. Like, you don't gotta like him like that, but let him down easy. It was all, it was all over. It was for the birds for Pope because he started, when he beat out the crap out that boy out of rave, I said, he is going to murder him. I'm like, yeah, 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 Pope, you beat him. You beat him really hard. Hey y'all, so I just finished editing segment of this video and I realized that I have too much footage, so I'm gonna have to do a part two for this video. So make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below what was your favorite or maybe less favorite part from this show. And make sure you turn on your post notifications so you know the next time I upload. And yeah, I will see you on the next video. Bye.